Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is another weekly rundown of updates and cool features or news that has been happening across Blender the entire week. Now this week we have a lot of them and some of them comes with mixed reactions. Some are cool, some are, you know, somehow. And without further ado, let's get right into it. The very first thing which we have to talk about is the box sprint. So last week we talked about the box sprint and we said that the box sprint was going to start from the 13th all the way to the 17th. And for sure, within this week, the box sprint has started. And there is also a confirmation that there is going to be another box sprint, which is going to be within the 3rd to the 7th of August. This would happen alongside the Beacon 3 as this is, you know, putting things together just for Blender 2.90 to be published. Next thing is Ton Rosendell has actually shared something where he's talking about copyright materials to be removed from the dev talk notes. Now this one comes with some sort of mixed reactions as he's saying that these things shouldn't be referenced within the dev talk notes because they might be copyrighted materials. Now these copyrighted materials are actually referencing tools or softwares that are paid for as he's saying that not only do we have enough design power to make our own solutions it's also a violation of copyrights from others some other thing that ton has actually shared within the week as well is 2020 2021 recruitment so if you're a developer and maybe you fall within this category or you're a ui designer an editor a back-end web developer you know blender actually needs you so there are a couple of job opportunities right now so if you want to join the blender train and probably you want to get things up and running with them simply send your cv or go over to the link in the description and see how this works this job employment or this recruitment right now are paid job positions and according to ton they are testing the waters just to see how people will respond to this and i believe a lot of people will definitely respond to this one so if you are interested in something like this link is going to be in the description so you can go ahead and check this one out with this said let's talk about the blender 2.83.2 so last week we talked about blender 2.83.2 being released and it's very interesting to see that right now you can get blender 2.83.2 the lts version if you're working with steam so if you're on steam if you're on snap and for the benefit of those who'll be asking what the hell is snap snap is more like a place where you can get your own softwares it's basically for linux users so if you're also on snap 2.83.2 is now available so you can simply go ahead and download it we talked about the bugs that were fixed and we've also talked about some other cooler and nicer stuff that has been implemented within blender 2.83.2 so with this said let's talk about blender 2.9 because there are some conversations that you guys actually started sometime last week and i think it's time to put them to rest first things first blender 2.9 zero has disabled the sculpt vertex color feature now if you simply have a tool like this and you know we already talked about this and said it was one of the best things in the world to ever come over to blender but now it is no longer available right here so if you go over to the sculpting section if you check right here you notice is the most recent blender that we got for today you'd see it is no longer here you have your clothes tool you have you know the cloth filter but there is no blender scope vectors color tool within the sculpting room but then you can activate these as pablo has actually gone ahead to keep this within the experimental state now the reason why he has done this is there are a couple of things that he is actually trying to work on blender 2.91 might be the next version of blender to show up with the color tool and if you want to get this active you need to go over to preference let's do that one more time go over to edit go over to preference right here and then you go over to experimental right here you can turn on the sculpt vertex color now if you don't do this you might not be able to see that and most importantly once you turn this on you need to switch your rooms so you need to go back from the object mode back to the sculpt mode for you to see this working i also need to tell you guys that some things are not working as right now if you select paint and you switch this from here to vertex 
of course you can paint all right of course you can you can do all of your painting stuff but this doesn't really work that much so you can see we're having an error there and we're also having another error right there now something else that pablo is working on which i think is very very impressive to see is he's working on a light brush now this light brush would work alongside the painting to which we have right here so what this does is very very simple you can simply play with lights position them where you want them to be get the kind of light that you want and with that done you can simply start painting using the light painting brush that would come over to blender hopefully with blender 2.91 now with something like that i guess it's going to be very easy for you to you know style your object and also paint them properly the way you want them to be and of course we have seen a lot of updates come over to blender and this one simply looks like one of the very cool ones that would come and i think you know trying to make sure that these things work are things that and modalities that he's working on of course they are setting to do list like the ones that he's stating right here he would like to see that the spotlight is supported and also you will be able to mix and paint you know the ambient lights and these are some of the features which he would want to implement to this and i guess maybe because of the instability or maybe certain things they are actually holding this one back for the meantime but then while was still talking about things that they are holding back blender 2.9 and you know the guys at blender foundation are releasing some other cool stuff so let's simply make a brand new scene right now and let me explain to you guys what this new cool stuff is so if you've worked with eevee before actually let's fire up you know blender 2.83 you can see that there so with blender 2.83 if you fire up eevee which we're going to do from here and for the most part, I always like having a plane and this gives me the sense of a base. So I'm just going to do that right here and come down here and switch to the shader editor. From the shader editor, we will switch to the world and I will show you guys. So if you're using Blender 2.83, you would notice that the sky texture, which is the one that you can use to do some cool sky mapping, doesn't work with Eevee. All it does is give you a very white scene all right but then if you're working with blender 2.9 this feature is definitely something that makes sense because right now it is now supported so if we do exactly the same thing which we can do from going over to shade and simply load up that sky texture real quick you would see that if we switch this to pretam and load this right here and jump over to eevee we have this working now this is definitely going to be very useful for a lot of people but there is something about the sky texture that works and something that doesn't work all right so the pre time works the hosek works but the nishita which is the brand new sky texture that has been added to blender 2.9 doesn't work all right so you can use the hosek you can use the pre time and get some very quick and nice looking renders from Eevee. And I'm very, very happy that this is something that they're implementing as this is beginning to bridge certain features that you might want to get from Eevee that you can only achieve using Cycles. Now, something else to also look at is there are certain updates that are coming to Cycles. The open image denoiser in final render is also coming. We've already talked about most of these things before. We've also talked about some experimental features that they're doing. There is also a very nice shader transparency for handing out object that is also being implemented as we speak. Something else that has been published as some of the new features, which we covered sometime last week, is the UV thingy. So we already covered the UV thingy where we said that once you're creating your UVs right now, you can easily use the ripping tool so just in case you haven't seen that video i'm gonna put link in the description so you can see it so you can use the ripping tool to rip things apart and we also talked about some other interesting cooler features that is coming or that is now in blender 2.9 that pertains to the uv we talked about about the merge and split which is a feature that you can find if you go over to the uv right now which doesn't exist in 2.83 and we also talked about the support for ripping of faces so faces was something that wasn't supported before but now you can easily use this ripping tool and rip up the face and do some of those crazy 
you know uv activities directly here so with this said let's dive back and talk about some other stuff so beacon 3 will be taking place on the 22nd of july that should be sometime next week and this is for bug fixing only as it's in preparation to blender 2.9 release here are some to-do list if this is you know something you want to check and we already talked about the pre-release and also the final release which happens to be my birthday so another thing that is also making waves is unreal engine have actually created a blender link this was something that they actually teased and you know teased about previously but it's very interesting to see that they've created a github which deals with certain things that you need to know if you would like to link your tools from blender directly to unreal engine now the whole idea here is the unreal engine to blender and also blender to rigify is something that they are working on for for a while now so if you're trying to create assets and you want to stream them back into unreal engine this makes a lot of sense of course we've seen an add-on known as mr mannequin tool which actually gets things done but for the most part the assets that you create in blender for for the most part you need to create these things with a scale of 0.001 in order for things like the bone to actually work correctly directly there in unreal engine so these are some of the awesome news that is coming and one more news that you need to know about actually this is a very important one that you need to know about so in case you haven't heard about spark ar it's an amazing technology that the guys at facebook has created where you can use uh, an app to create some sort of augmented reality filter for faces you probably have seen these things on instagram on facebook the tool which is being used is known as pack ar to develop these things and it's very interesting to see that right now they are actually creating an integration for blender so if you are working with blender and you want to you know get spark ar and have that integration directly with blender this is a tool that should be able to get these things up and running as they've created an add-on that will definitely help you ship things across spark ar version 9.2 to blender 2.83 and above so this is some very interesting updates and some very interesting news and i would like to know what you guys think about them in the comment section this has been a truckload of information and i would also like to know what you guys think about the whole idea of deprecating not really deprecating but disabling the scoped vetus color what do you also think about the copyright material and what do you also think about the recruitment that the guys at blender foundation are trying to do so this is definitely going to be about it i would like to know what you guys think about these in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace